All right, guys, welcome back to The Real South Africa. You got Mark and Latasha. We're doing a photo shoot um, here in South Africa, having a great time. But at the same time, we want to give you guys a message and tell you some things. So check it out. Guys, we have a video on Amazon Prime, and of course, it's going to be on our website. So please check it out. It is amazing. It is our first documentary, and it covers so many topics that we all need to be talking about today. So check it out on our website and Amazon Prime. All right, guys, it's been a little while since we've taken new pictures. So we've been here, what, about four or five years now and then decided to take some pictures? Yeah, our last photo shoot was, um, you know, five years ago. Like you said, it was on my 40th birthday. So <laughs> as we are approaching another birthday for us both, we decided that it was time for us to get some new photographs taken. Yeah, absolutely. So we called one of our friends in. She's a local South African who's really handy with the camera and whatnot. So. Tasha got some pictures coming up as you guys are checking out. Those were actually, <laughs> that was probably my favorite simply because I'm wearing one of my favorite brands, which you guys already know. Hopefully you can support the Puma watch that's in the corner, <laughs> but it was definitely fun. I think she captured the essence of the fun side of who I want to be. And then of course there's me and you guys know who we are. We're the real South Africa travel and tourism company. We do a lot to bring a lot of people to um, to South Africa. To date, we've brought hundreds and hundreds of people here and they absolutely had a great experience, enjoyed themselves. And so we, again, we were very fortunate because we got invited to the premiere, the red carpet. We got to walk the red carpet. We did, and that was the fun part uh, as well. After this wonderful photo shoot that really took quite a few hours. I mean, yeah. people that do this on a regular basis, I understand the trepidation that can be involved because you do have to be posed and mm -hmm. you know um you do have to change outfits but it was still a lot of fun i learned a lot from the photographer being there as well yeah. but in preparation for the event that we went to this was a great start to the day what do you think no it was good it was good it was it was really good we really appreciate the fact that she was able to come out you know and immortalize us and make us look like something and whatnot but yeah my pictures came out halfway decent of course they get better as we go along but these are some of the shots um, look at the smile on that boy <laughs> that she took you know i'm just excited i'm glad to be here in south africa i feel a lot i feel free i feel comfortable i, I love being here um, i couldn't see myself being anywhere else and of course we want you guys to come and have the same experience a lot of you guys have heard us say this before and if this is the first time of course you should go ahead and subscribe to our channel look at a lot of our videos that we already have because we put out a lot of content especially a lot of people who came and gave their first impressions um about south africa and so forth but yeah this this photo shoot was absolutely amazing i hope you guys are in, in, enjoying it getting the insiders view because this was the same day we did the um the uh, the uh, kings of Joburg. Um, you know, situation, and so this was earlier that day. And of course, later on, we went to dinner, did the whole nine. No, so. it wasn't a. You're right. It was an amazing day. I think that what you were saying was because we started the day with the photo shoot, it kind of prepped us for the red carpet walk that kind of sure, led up sure, to the sure, premiere. Sure. Um, and just having this much fun. I mean, did you think the photo shoot was fun? I thought it was uh, was super fun. Yeah, I mean, those are pictures of you right now. You're looking pretty spiffy, um, uh, cleaned up. As you know, we had a few wardrobe changes along the, <laughs> along the way and, and, and whatnot and so forth. But like I said, these are, these are the types of opportunities you know, when I say types of opportunities, you know, it's kind of hard to, you know, sit on the internet trying to figure out, you know, um, you know, where in South Africa or better yet in Africa or to even visit Africa. Uh, well, obviously, you know, where we, we made that decision a long time ago and we're thriving here. And these are types of things that you can do, but you can't, you can't really take the shortcuts, you know, as much as you might want to believe. I think in a lot of ways, you're going to need to just come here and you're going to have to come here as a tourist. And of course, it's pretty clear that we have a really good bead on what you should be doing and places you should be going. And that's why we, we set up our company because we want you guys to actually utilize our services so we can get you here properly as well. So you can kind of, you know, take off, you know, in, on your trajectory if you plan on being here in South Africa. So explain to them a little bit about, you know, or maybe I can explain <laughs> sure. what we mean if what we mean by saying come as a tourist. Mm -hmm. We say come as a tourist because the way we put our packages together, you do get a very nice experience 
of being a tourist because we do expose you to the everyday lifestyles that are available because the way we put our tours together, it's not just like go here, go here, go here. You get to mingle with the people. Yeah, you're not going to be going to a resort, sitting on a resort, <laughs> you know, by yourselves and just kind of looking from afar. You know, we get you off the plane and at that point you're, I mean, you're immersed within South Africa. And being immersed in South Africa, you get to, you know, we're not going to tell you every little thing. We ask you to come with an open mind and just be prepared to take everything in. Take in the people, yeah. take in the culture, take in the environment, and just kind of let it all become a part of you while you're here. And that's the beauty of being a tourist with us because we do put you in situations where you are allowed to be a part of the majority, a part of the collective, mm -hmm. a part of everyday life, and it gives you a real sense of belonging. Yep, so uh, and a lot of you guys have heard it before, and um, those that have have heeded the call and said, hey, I'm gonna give you guys a call, and then they've called us. You know, there are those that are trying to, they try to create their own experiences, trying to say, well, I wanna do this, and I wanna do that, I wanna do this, and, and my, my uh, overarching thing is, well, have you been here before? Well, no, well then, let us take care of this for you. And then at the end, they're like, oh my God, that was, that was the most amazing trip that I've ever had. Um, no complaints is, is great. But right here, Tasha's looking pretty good in that dress. I love that dress. I'll go ahead and give a shout out to Africa Fashion House. They made that dress for me. Um, they do have an online store, so I'm happy that they were able to dress me for this photo shoot. Oh yeah, and then of course I had to get in there and get my shots in as well. You know, um, we were a little worried about the sun because they said the sun will wash everything out. Um, so then it was late enough to where the shade came. So as you see my pictures as they were coming up, Obviously, I just took directions from her. I had zero clue what I was doing. Um, yeah, I just, I never zero had that. Zero clue is an understatement, but you did follow instructions. I very, did, I very did, well. I did. Because <laughs> normally, I think the last time I took a photo shot, I was shoot, I was actually inside of a studio. So um, just being outside, you know, I felt a little bit more freer um, and whatnot. And you guys might not realize it, but just below where we were sitting was the uh, was the pool. And of course, there was a restaurant, so the food smelled good as well. You know? were thinking about eating the whole time. Well, it, was, it smelled pretty good. I was thinking, hmm, maybe I should go in there and get some of those. Which uh, we did. <laughs> which, which we <laughs> We did. sure did. We sure we did. We did get yep. something to eat. But it was definitely an amazing morning. Um, we're, you know, thankful for the photographer coming all the way from Cape Town, actually. And there's my shot. There are my shots. Oh, there are your shots. There are your shots. <laughs> yeah, I look pretty good. I think I look okay. You know, you guys can all obviously comment oh, at the gosh. bottom of, on what Tasha's wearing. Be kind. Wearing. Be kind. Yeah, on what she's wearing and what <laughs> I'm wearing and, and and whatnot. So, yeah, there's just a there's just a lot of big things going on here in South Africa. So, what we also decided to do in this in this video because you know we we really like what we do. Um, and we we and we do want to encourage those who have never been to Africa to put aside all of that stuff that you've heard about and just kind of look at just stay focused. On, oh, she's having a tough time uh, <laughs> on what we're doing here, and we're rolling something out. I mean, there's no one that's marketing directly and in, in showing people directly what South Africa is really about. I mean, we've all heard the stories, we've all heard this, we all heard that. I get it, you know, and I did too, but you gotta keep in mind, oh, now we're doing our little, you know, we're looking pretty nice. We are dressed, we are dressed. <laughs> that was, um, sorry, I, I, we, no, that's I, fine. I, I that's saw fine. the dress, I, I, you know, got excited because I remember how I felt you know, mm -hmm. up. You know, I'm checking out my shoes, guys. Yeah, but yeah, it's you know, and so we, you know, we want people, and, and, and it's so funny, you know, people come here, and you know, they're just like, ah, you know, I'm gonna come because because of my spouse wants to come. Let's use that for example. The one spouse want to come, one doesn't. They get here, and the spouse that didn't really want to come is like over the top. That's usually they're I mean, over the top. Statistically, that has been the case. Yeah. It's always the one that doesn't want to come that ends up being the most impressed and the one that wants to stay longer. Yeah. So, but uh, but this was a really fun um, you know opportunity um, to you know to do this. Hopefully, maybe we we'll do another photo shoot sooner than later. Oh yeah, definitely got to do it again. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, yeah. It was a lot of fun. I thought you looked unbelievably handsome. Like, I was like, look at my babe looking all cute in this yeah, suit. You look great. It's soap. I, I use soap. You do, and I use soap, soap and, and water. And, and, and water. And water. Yeah, yeah, so. Look at what a little lather can do, y'all. <laughs> a little lather. 
Yeah. But he did a great job. I thought he did um, good just following the instructions. Uh, look at us. Look at us. <laughs> look at us. And just being able to have fun as well yeah. and not be in charge. Yeah, we just wanted to share to let everybody know who's asked us over the years. Are y'all being safe over there? Are y'all okay over there? Are y'all, oh, you know, one of you guys coming back? Well, here's our answer. We're yeah. not coming back. Well, these are our answers right here. We're okay. We're 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 fine. Things are things are well. We're we're eating well. Everything is is proper here in the Republic of South Africa. So, with that being said, um, continue to watch. You're gonna if you guys hadn't seen us at the um, the uh, red carpet event for the Kings of Joburg that's coming up next, and we really appreciate you guys watching. And we will see you here in sunny South, South Africa. Africa. Bye, guys. <laughs>
someone snapped this picture of me and sent it to me. You never know who was out there watching and who actually sees you. That was crazy. All right, guys, we're going in. We're going in. <laughs> he made it. <laughs> so you might as well get up in there. Guys, it was an amazing, amazing opportunity to represent the real South Africa here at this Netflix event, which is featuring the Kings of Joburg season two. Um, we had the opportunity to walk the carpet, as you guys may have already seen. So we we felt very, very, very blessed. And of course, you know, Tasha has her her um, speaking points as well. So go ahead, Tasha. Listen, this was a star-studded event. All of the characters, all of the actors, actresses, super nice. Uh, very personable, definitely had some uh, awesome conversations with a lot of them, definitely off camera because you don't want to be in their face like that. But it was such a great event, and I'm so glad that we were able to be a part of it. Absolutely. I think because, you know, we're based in Joburg, we're in Joburg all the time. We decided to make Joburg our home. Um, you know, people have recognized us and said, hey, you know, you guys belong and so it was great to get that email that came through to say, hey, you know, do you want to, you know, come to the red carpet event? And I'm like, OK, we can attend. And it was like, no, we want you guys to be on the red carpet, to get commentary, to be part of the experience and so forth. So we just thought it was, again, that we got the nod to come and truly enjoy what Joe Berg um, has to offer. And of course, Tasha got a chance to get dressed up. I did get a chance to dress up, and I spent a lot of time talking to that young man right there. He's an amazing person. His character is awesome. So if you guys have not seen season one, you need to binge watch season one Yeah. simply because season two starts on January 27th. Yeah. It's, like I said, the, the, the plot twist was absolutely amazing. Uh, whoever watches it, who's, who watched the first season is going to be like, wow. This is amazing. But again, we really appreciate the fact that Netflix and the powers to be over there at the Kings of Joburg thought enough of what we do and what we've done here in South Africa and Johannesburg to invite us 
and you know show us a little love at the event so continue to watch as a little bit more information we'll see you my name is Eli Romitali from SF Film Chronicles live from Rosebank the zone I'm so excited Kings of Joburg season 2 premiere only on Netflix 27 Jan who knew I would make it this far they hated they never believed me yeah I would never drop the ball I know I make it look easy yeah Mayweather with the defense I don't care what a critic got to say I got him picked another pieces How proud are you of you and your production for making it this far? Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling everything exhilarating and, and positive and It was a difficult season to do without show But I think we, we all came together and made that pact to not only do it for him But to do it for ourselves as well South Africa, and I'm, I'm sure the whole world has been waiting for the work that we did. We worked so hard, we did everything for Shona Ferguson, so yeah. So we saw you in uh, season three of Blood and Water, and now we also see you in season two of Kings of Joburg. Can you tell Netflix and I have a great relationship? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no man, listen, I always follow the writing and they wrote a really special and beautiful character and it was a no-brainer, so. God bless the writers and this is going to be an incredible journey. So in season one, I mean, there was a lot, you know, there was glamour and action. I know that they've definitely upped it for season two and that's what I'm excited about is to see more of this incredible show that season one was. What is the best thing you learned about yourself after filming of season two? How true the theme of, of family and the dedication to family was sitting deep within my within me. Family is stronger than anything. Any 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 money, any job, anything. Family is the strongest power there is. Please just talk us through you know your preparation stages to play the gangster in, in season two. Uh, as performers, we go through different stages. Obviously, you do your research. You know, you find out what your character does. Mainly, this is one of those characters I think like I believe that I've been preparing for for my whole life. Also, it's just like you know it being a passion project like it was. It, it, it coming, having the history that it had from season one to season two, that's losing Mr. Uh, Mr. Show Ferguson. I did quite a lot of preparation. I had to go dab, down inside, looking at uh, season one, go, going by what he went through in season one, and having given, getting the chance to come back for his pound of flesh. You know how best to play, having more screen time, having to interact with more of the characters from the, from the season one. There was a lot of work that went into that. How important is collaboration with you being a Nigerian actor? and you know, acting in a South African production? Well, I think uh, collaboration is, uh, is the way to go. It's always been uh, my, my drive. It's been my career goal to uh, approach the global stage. Kings of Joburg will be like my fifth job in South Africa, especially with, uh, with Netflix on board now, pushing the bar. And that's exactly what we can achieve. Collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. And coming into season two, did you by any chance feel any added pressure? There's always pressure in everything that you do. If there is no pressure, then leave the game. I always feel pressure, bro. The trick is you must always feel pressure. Every character gives me pressure. Now you are playing the character of Veronica. Where did specifically this idea, where did you find the inspiration to bring this idea of someone coming 30 years later in back into the Mysterio family? That was all Sabelo. I mean, you know, obviously without show and show was the, the main lead in all the, the finished scripts that we had. We had to go back to the drawing board and I think he just had the spark that what if we introduced a female lead. It ain't luck. I needed a vision. I needed ambition. I needed a mission to be the submission with no intermission. I see the collision, the crash of the distance. They coming off track. No. So tell me, in season two of Kings of Joburg, how much of it is about not only honoring Uncle Show, but also making sure that the show goes on as well? Yeah, I think I think that his presence is felt all throughout. I think we were very clever on how we approached him, approached the story still without him. But again, he's he's he's, he's ever present within this season two. What's one memory of him that still sticks with you today? Shona Ferguson was and is a visionary. He pushed himself, he pushed himself, he pushed himself so hard. Every single thing that that man taught me is a life lesson every single day. Humility, love, family, a life on set and everything. This reel that came out on the, on the socials with Mr. Show saying, you know, if in life, if you want to know who is who is for you or who is with you. And it became quite viral, especially after his passing. Funny enough, when we were shooting that episode, something had been happening in my personal life. On that day, I expressed that to the man and he sat me down, not as a producer, as a boss. He sat me down as a G. And it was like, yo, dude, this is where I see things and this is how you should proceed. So it was genuine and I felt like, Oh, wow. Shona was part of us, man. There's never a time where we're on set and not knowing what to do, what's next, what to expect. But I think the craziest and the funniest, Shona had a sweet tooth. You know, I'm a chocolate. But he would want to offer everybody sweets so that he doesn't feel left alone and feel like he's the one that's binging, you know? He was such a legend. He will live in our hearts forever. Awesome. Thank you very much, Serena. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much.
Thank you, my brother. Awesome. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you for this. Thanks. Thank you so much, Tabello. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. It's only a pleasure, my brother. Awesome. Thank you very much for joining us, Olani. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you so much. We love you and keep on being South Africa's great. As you guys see that we have a little bit of excitement and we can dance too. Can you tell? But anyway, we, <laughs> I know, right? All right. We are, we are about to get interviewed, so we just, we just you know, had to you know, blow off a little bit of steam. <laughs> yep, there we go. Thank you so much. What do you think? This is crazy. This is this is a great premiere, and it's going to get better. So just kind of stick with us. This is the real South Africa. Don't let nobody tell you anything different. This is what we do. So again, enjoy all the beautiful people that are walking in. Most of everybody here is from Joburg, South Africa. It's cool, and of course, I feel like we're from Joburg, South Africa. So hey, it is what it is. So check it out. As we are arriving, this is cool. Just doing her thing. Yeah, I was just like, so. yeah. Of course, the drinks are going to be flowing, and I need that in my life. Ooh, I don't want to step on your dress, Tasha. That just did. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Does anyone get, want to give us a sneak peek? Spoiler. Kaka. All right, guys, we just finished watching the, the uh, first episode. It was great. Oh, my God, it was so good. <laughs> Got a little plot, plot, uh, plot twist. Let me show you what's, up, what's going on. Amazing. So we're gonna leave here. We got an after party to go to, so we're gonna check that out. And uh, yeah, <laughs> let's keep rocking and rolling. Ah, Netflix. Okay. So if you guys haven't been watching the Kings of Joburg. Season one, you need to go ahead and go back and check that out. And then, of course, you can go ahead and watch what season? Season two. It starts uh, January 27th. Yeah. Yeah, next week. So, <laughs> next week. so check it out. Let's we'll see y'all guys at the after party. And here we are at the after party with Samad and the crew. And, of course, we're at the table having a good time, reminiscing, and talking about the Kings of Joburg. It was a great vibe. And Amazon Prime. All right, everyone, the real side of Africa, we got packages. Packages to Cape Town, Johannesburg, Durban, and other places. We would love for you guys to come and enjoy what South Africa has to offer. And of course, as your travel and tourism experts here in South Africa, we can make it all come true. Now, we all know you guys have dreams and aspirations of coming to Africa. A lot of us do, and of course we did too, and that's why we're based here in Johannesburg, the city of gold. A very awesome place, and you're going to enjoy it once you get here as well. What do you get when you get here? Well, first of all, when you land here in South Africa, we take care of everything. We make sure your accommodations are good. We make sure your airport pickups are perfect. There'll be somebody standing there with a sign. We also make sure that the places that you're gonna visit are carefully curated for you, of course, and then you gotta eat. So what do we do? We put you in a perfect scenario, regardless of what city you're in, so you can actually have a great meal with friends and family, or even if you come by yourself, no problem, we're gonna take care of that too. But isn't this amazing? So this is what we can do for you. So basically, all you have to do is just reach out to us on our website, therealsouthafrica.com, and of course, once you get here, we got you. Now. Of course, South Africa offers spa treatments. They're absolutely amazing. And a lot of people just love it simply because they never thought they can get a spa treatment in Africa. And then of course, we always provide you guys with opportunities to see special animals out in their own environment and so forth. The only thing that you have to do at that point after you've been afraid from the, from the animals is to get on a plane, come here to South Africa, and enjoy yourself. So we will see you here in what we like to call sunny South Africa. Oh, and by the way, you will get an opportunity to shop as well. So book your trip today. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.